Introduction Preeti, how much did you score in the final exams? I scored 400 marks out of a total of 500. How did you fare, Vinay? I fared better than you. I scored 320 marks out of a total of 400. Why do you say that your performance was better than mine, Vinay? Simple, Preeti. My score is 80 less than the total, whereas yours is 100 less than the total. Isn't it quite obvious that I am better at academics than you? Your comparison is incorrect, Vinay. In fact, I proved a better student because I secured a bigger score in the final exams. In this lesson, you will learn to compare quantities. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Compare quantities using ratio, proportion and unitary method Define percentage Express numbers, fractions, decimals and ratios as percentage Convert percentages to numbers, fractions, decimals and ratios Use the concept of percentage to compute, increase or decrease percent, profit or loss percent and simple interest. Comparison of quantities Apple in a basket, weights of students, marks scored in exams, heights of towers, etc. are all examples of quantities. Quantities are compared with the help of ratio, proportion, and unitary method. Let us look at these methods of comparison one by one. Ratio Mridul has a mobile with a 5 megapixel camera, whereas Bharti has a mobile that has a 3 megapixel camera. Let us compare the cameras of the two mobiles with the help of ratio. We express the ratio of the megapixels as 5 is to 3. It means that Mridul's camera is 5 by 3 times superior to Bharti's camera. It also means that Bharti's camera is 3 by 5 times inferior to Mridul's camera. Proportion Earlier in this lesson, we heard Preeti and Vinay argue that their respective performances in the final exam were better. Let us sort their argument out with the help of proportion. Let us express the two total scores in the form of a ratio as 400 is to 500. Now let us express the scores of Vinay and Preeti in the form of ratio as 320 is to 400. Reducing them to their lowest terms we get 400 is to 500 is equal to 400 divided by 500 which is 4 divided by 5. 320 is to 400 is equal to 320 divided by 400 which equals 4 divided by 5. It means the two ratios are in proportion. Therefore, both Preeti and Vinay were wrong. Both of them fared equally well in their final exams. Unitary Method Ranbir and Satbir are excellent football players. At the last international match, Ranbir scored 3 goals in 60 minutes, while Satbir scored 2 goals in 30 minutes. Who was fast at scoring goals? Let us solve the question with the help of unitary method. Time taken by Ranbir to score 3 goals is equal to 60 minutes. Time taken by Ranbir to score 1 goal is equal to 60 divided by 3 which equals 20 minutes. Time taken by Satbir to score 2 goals is equal to 30 minutes. Time taken by Satbir to score 1 goal is equal to 30 upon 2 which equals 15 minutes. Therefore, Satbir was fast at scoring goals. Percentage Look at these new headlines. Pulses costlier by 10%. Fuel prices dearer by 3%. Unemployment up by 5%. Vijaya polls 12% more votes than Sunita at the Panchayat elections. One common element in all these headlines is that they all indicate comparison of quantities. Another element common in them is the use of percentage symbol. The symbol denotes percentage. The term percentage literally translates means in every hundred or hundredth. 
It is a means of comparing quantities. Rajiv scored 80 out of 100 in English. His score can be expressed as a fraction of the total as 80 by 100. Shiv's grandfather owns an apple orchard in Himachal Pradesh. He sent them 50 boxes of apples. Shiv's father gives away 35 boxes to his friends. Let us express the remaining boxes as a percentage of the total boxes received. Boxes remaining out of 50 is equal to 50 minus 35, which equals 15. Boxes remaining as a fraction of total boxes received equals 15 upon 50. Convert the denominator into 100. 15 upon 50 equals 15 into 2 upon 50 into 2, which equals 30 upon 100, which is equal to 30%. Remaining boxes constitute 30% of the total received. Let us attempt the same question with the help of the unitary method. Boxes remaining out of 50 is equal to 15. Boxes remaining out of 100 is equal to 15 upon 50 into 100, which equals 30. Therefore, 30% 30 of the total boxes received from Shif's grandfather are with Shif's family. Both the methods yield the same answer. Mona buys five cupcakes. She gives two to Kittu and three to Bittu. Express the shares of Kittu and Bittu in percentages. Number of cupcakes Kittu gets out of a total of five is equal to two. Number of cupcakes Kittu gets out of a total of 100 is equal to 2 upon 5 into 100, which is equal to 40%. Number of cupcakes Bittu gets out of a total of 5 is equal to 3. Number of cupcakes Bittu gets out of a total of 100 is equal to 3 upon 5 into 100 is equal to 60%. Sum of percentages is equal to 100%. 100% represents the whole. In other words, it is the self-assessment. Read the question carefully and select the correct option. Conversion to percentages. We have learned to express numbers as percentages. Let us now learn to convert fractions, decimals and ratios into percentages. Fractions. Four-fifths of the tomatoes with a vegetable cellar are fresh. The rest are rotten. Express the fraction of rotten tomatoes as percentage. Fraction of total tomatoes that are rotten is equal to 1 minus 4 upon 5, which equals 1 upon 5. It means that 1 in every 5 tomatoes is rotten. Number of rotten tomatoes in a total of 5 tomatoes is equal to 1. Number of rotten tomatoes in a total of 100 tomatoes is equal to 1 upon 5 into 100, which equals 20. 20% 20 of the total tomatoes is rotten. Decimals The population of females in a village expressed in decimals is 0 0.55. Express the population of males in the village as percentage. Population of females is equal to 0 0.55, which equals 55 upon 100, which is equal to 55%. Population of males is equal to 100% minus 55%, which is equal to 45%. Males in the village form 45% of the total population. Ratios In a school, Science stream students have the freedom to choose between computer science and economics. The ratio of students with computer science to students with economics is 3 is to 2. Express students who have opted for economics as a percentage of the total number of students in the science stream. Total number of science students is equal to 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Economic students in every 5 science students is equal to 2. Economic students in every 100 science students is equal to 2 upon 5 into 100, which equals 40. 40% 40 of the science students have opted for economics. Conversion of percentages. We can now express numbers, 
fractions, decimals, and ratios as percentages. Let us now learn to express percentages as numbers, fractions, decimals, and ratios. Numbers Monkeys constitute 20% of the total number of animals in a zoo. If there are 150 animals in all in the zoo, find the total number of monkeys. Number of monkeys in 100 animals is equal to 20. Number of monkeys in 150 animals is equal to 20 upon 100 into 150, which equals 30. There are 30 monkeys in the zoo. Fractions Ravina spends 30% of her monthly earnings on clothes. Express Ravina's expenditure as a fraction of her total earnings. Amount spent by Ravina out of every rupees 100, she earns rupees 30. Amount spent by Ravina out of every rupee she earns is equal to 30 upon 100, which equals 3 upon 10. Ravina spends three tenths of her earnings on clothes. Decimals A particular village in India has achieved a high literacy rate of 85%. Express it as decimal. Out of every 100 villages, 85 are literate. Literates as a fraction of 100 villages is equal to 85 upon 100, which equals 0.85. 85% expressed as decimal is 0 0.85. Ratios 80% of the teachers in a school are female. Express the number of female teachers to male teachers in the form of ratio. Female teachers in every 100 teachers is equal to 80. Male teachers in every 100 teachers is equal to 100 minus 80, which is equal to 20. The ratio of female teachers to male teachers is equal to 80 is to 20, which is equal to 8 is to 2, which equals 4 is to 1. Self-assessment. Match the percentages with their corresponding numbers, fractions, decimals and ratios. Uses of percentage. Percentages are used to express many real life situations such as a hike in school fees, decline in electricity supply, increase in production, etc. We will now use the concept of percentage to represent increase or decrease, profit or loss, and simple interest. Increase, decrease. Increase, decrease percent is equal to increase. Decrease upon original value into 100. The price of petrol increases from rupees 50 to rupees 60. Find the increase percentage. Here, original price is rupees 50. Increase in price is equal to new price minus original price, which is equal to 60 minus 50, which equals rupees 10. Increase percent is equal to 10 into 100 upon. 50 which is equal to 20 percent so the fuel prices have increased by 20 percent profit loss the price at which a product is bought is known as its cost price it is denoted by cp the price at which a product is sold is known as its selling price it is denoted by sp if the selling price is more than the cost price there is profit Profit is equal to SP minus CP. If the selling price is less than the cost price, there is loss. Loss is equal to CP minus SP. Profit or loss percent is equal to Profit or loss upon CP into 100. A shopkeeper buys an LCD TV for rupees 90,000 and sells it for rupees 1 lakh. What is his profit percent? CP is equal to rupees 90,000. SP is equal to rupees 1 lakh. Profit is equal to SP minus CP 
is equal to 1 lakh minus 90,000, which is equal to 10,000. Profit percentage is equal to 10,000 into 100 upon 90,000, which is equal to 11.11%. The shopkeeper earns a profit of 11.11% on the LCD TV. Furniture Mart earns a profit of 15% by selling a sofa at Rs. 23,000. Find the cost price of the sofa. Profit percentage is equal to SP minus CP upon CP into 100. 15 is equal to 23,000 minus CP upon CP into 100. 15 CP is equal to 23,000 minus CP into 100. 15 CP is equal to 23 lakh minus 100 CP. 115 CP is equal to 23 lakh. CP is equal to 23 lakh upon 115, which equals rupees 20,000. The cost price of the sofa was rupees 20,000. Simple interest. People deposit money in bank and earn interest on it. They also borrow money from a bank and pay interest on it. The money deposited or borrowed is known as the principal. Interest payable on deposits and borrowings is expressed as a percentage of the principal per year or annum, like 2% per annum. The technique of keeping the principal the same and calculating interest at the same rate every year for a specified number of years is known as simple interest. The formula for calculation of simple interest SI is P into T into R whole upon 100, where P stands for principal, T stands for number of years, R stands for rate of interest. The amount received or paid after the specified number of years is calculated as A is equal to P plus SI. Let's take a look on an example. Sriram deposits rupees 1 lakh in a bank for 3 years. The rate of interest is 5% per annum. What interest does Sriram receive after 3 years? Here principal is rupees 1 lakh. Time period is 3 years. Rate on interest is 5%. Now by substituting the values in the formula we get SI is equal to 1 lakh into 3 into 5 whole upon 100 which equals rupees 15,000. Sri Ram receives rupees 15,000 as interest after 3 years. Now look at the next example in which we will calculate the principal. Varun pays rupees 20,000 as interest to a bank after 2 years of borrowing money at the rate of 10% per annum. Calculate the principal borrowed. Here interest is rupees 20,000. Time period is 2 years. And rate of interest is 10%. Now by substituting the values in the formula we get 20,000 is equal to P into 2 into 10 whole upon 100. By calculating it we get principal as rupees 1 lakh. Varun borrowed rupees 1 lakh for a period of 2 years. Self-assessment. Drag and drop the options in the appropriate boxes. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Quantities are compared using ratio, proportion, unitary method and percentage. Percentage means in every hundred or hundredths. Numbers, fractions, decimals and ratios can be expressed as percentages. Percentages can be converted into numbers, fractions, decimals and ratios. The concept of percentage is used to compute profit or loss percent, increase or decrease percent and simple interest.